Good morning, students. Welcome to the, to my new lecture, Orthodontic Appliances General Principles. We would be discussing this topic under the following head: definition, classification, advantages and disadvantages of removal and fixed appliances, and finally the ideal requirements of orthodontic appliance. First, we will see the definition of orthodontic appliances. Orthodontic appliances are devices which by means exert mild pressure which may be applied to a tooth or a group of teeth and their supporting structures so as to bring the necessary changes within the bone which allow the effective tooth movement. So as you have understood from this definition, it is a self-explanatory uh, definition which explains you about the nature of orthodontic appliances. Now we'll see the classification of orthodontic appliances. That is, they are broadly classified into mechanical appliances and myofunctional appliances. So what are mechanical appliances? Mechanical appliances are further divided into removal appliances and fixed appliances. Whereas myofunctional appliances are also divided into removal and fixed appliances respectively. Now first we will see what are mechanical appliances. Mechanical appliances are the appliances which exert mild pressure on a tooth or a group of teeth and their supporting structures in a predetermined direction with the help of active components which are a part of the appliance itself. Means the uh, mechanical appliances are the appliances which are having active components which are exerting pressure on the onto the teeth and the surrounding structures. Whereas myofunctional appliances are these are loose fitting of passive appliances which harness the natural forces of the orofacial musculature which are transmitted to the teeth and the alveolar bone through the medium of the appliances. In other words, we can say that myofunctional appliances are those appliances which are not applying a direct pressure on the teeth and the supporting structures. These are passive appliances okay, which are redirecting or harnessing the natural forces of the orofacial musculature. Now, we will see what are removal appliances and what are fixed appliances. Removal appliances are the appliances which can be inserted and removed from the oral cavity by the patient at his or her own will. Fixed appliances, these are the appliances that are fitted onto the tooth structure and can only be removed by the doctor or the operator. Active appliances, these appliances, as we have already discussed, are the appliances which exert a direct force on the teeth or the supporting structures to bring the necessary tooth movement. On the other hand, passive appliances are the passive uh, are the appliances which do not apply a direct pressure the, uh, because they are passive in nature and they are used to retain the teeth which have moved to the ideal locations. Now we'll see what are the advantage of the removal appliances. First and, foremost, uh, for, uh, first and foremost is the good oral hygiene because as they can be removed from the oral cavity, so they are very easy to clean. Then tipping type of tooth movement is seen with the removal appliances. Overbite reduction is seen. It consumes less chair side time. They have a less strain on anchor teeth. Also less inventory is needed for the fabrication of the appliances. These are cheap or less expensive appliances, they require less frequent adjustments and finally less, less conspicuous. But removal appliances come with a few disadvantages also. That is they are uh, patient, uh, they depends upon the patient compliance. So patient's cooperation is very much necessary when we are dealing with the removal appliances. Then only tipping type of tooth movement uh, is happening with the removal appliances. So that becomes a restriction only when simpler type of tooth movement is required. In those cases only we can use a removal appliances. In complex tooth movements, uh, removal appliances doesn't work well. Also, they are uh, removal appliances, uh, it is difficult for it to treat uh, rotations as, as I have previously mentioned also. It is difficult to close the residual spaces in extraction case then there are greater chances of patient displacing the appliances. It get it may get lost or something like that. And it cannot be used to treat 
severe class two and class three cases. They can only be used in simpler class one cases where mild tipping type of tooth movement is required. Now we'll come to the advantages of the fixed appliances, which are uh, used in the routine orthodontic practice. Uh, in this patient, cooperation is not required because the compliance of the patient is not an issue in cases of fixed appliances. Then various types of tooth movements are possible like tipping, translation, intrusion, extrusion. Everything uh, is possible with these type of appliances. Then multiple tooth movements are possible simultaneously. We can do multiple tooth movements like uh, uh, retrusion, uh, protraction uh, or uh, retrusion uh, and intrusion. Simultaneously, we can perform multiple things. Then we have a control or a more precise type of tooth movement when we're using a fixed appliances. These are, they can be used to treat various, most of the malocclusions. They have a better control over anchorage. There are few disadvantages of the fixed appliances as well. That is, they are difficult to maintain the oral hygiene. If the patient is not maintaining the oral hygiene, then it becomes a tiresome and it becomes very difficult for the orthodontist to deal with uh, such scenarios. Then it is time consuming. It is more conspicuous. Special training of the operator is required. Frequent visit of the patient is also required in the starting. And in case if the patient breaks the appliances, it is an expensive thing. Then there are greater possibilities of producing adverse tooth movements. Now we'll see what are the ideal requirements of the orthodontic appliances. We have a biological requirement. We have a mechanical requirement. We have a hygienic requirement. And finally, and last and the most important is the aesthetic requirements. Now we'll see that one by one. First is the biological requirement. Appliances in bio biological uh, requirements, the first one is appliance should bring about the desired tooth movement. It should not produce any pathological changes such as root resorption, periodontal damage or non-vitality of the tooth. It shouldn't interfere with normal growth or function. It should not bring any unwanted tooth movement. The material which is used for the fabrication of the appliances should be biocompatible with the oral cavity and the surrounding structures. Uh, the patient shouldn't feel, uh, shouldn't have any allergy uh, of the same. The appliances shouldn't disintegrate in the oral fluids. So these are the biological requirements when we are using any uh, appliance, whether it is removal or fixed. Then comes the mechanical requirements. Mechanical requirements of any orthodontic appliances, uh, especially the removal ones, is that it should be easy to fabricate by the operator. It shouldn't be bulky to the patient. It should be strong enough to withstand the masticatory forces. It shouldn't deliver, it should deliver control forces and it should be universally applicable. Then coming to the hygiene requirements. Under this, uh, it should it is like that it should be self-cleansing. If not, it should be easy to clean for the uh, for the any type of patient. And the appliance should it interfere with the oral hygiene maintenance. Then comes the aesthetic requirements. Nowadays, most, more and more patients are considered about their aesthetics. So this is the most important uh, requirement or by any of the patient is that the appliance should be aesthetically acceptable and should be inconspicuous as possible. So we must all try to fulfill what are the desires uh, and requirements uh, the patients ask us in any appliance. So in this way, I end my lecture with a positive note, hoping that you have understood orthodontic appliances, general principles very well and uh, be updated for my next lecture. Thank you very much.